Hello YouTube, this is Happy Dragon, and welcome back to uh, episode 6, was it? Yeah, I think it's episode 6 of my City Skylines second Let's Play series. So, uh, the last episode we focused on building this, this brand new town over here. Now, I did, and this entire, like, rail, I guess, uh, industrial area. Now... I've done a, a bit off camera, like I, I, I just detailed this area a bit more, um, and I changed up the layout a little bit as well, um, because I want it, because uh, if you notice any changes from like the way that all these are laid out from the last episode, all of like these uh, shipping depots are, uh, is because I... Uh, I moved them so that I feel like that it would, it, it's more compact. Also, I I, re I recently got this mod, which is like a, the forest brush tool mod or something. But it it pretty much uh, just allows you to just customize, like, input what trees you want. And then uh, it gives you a brush, and you can choose, like, the size of the brush and do all that stuff. And then you just paint an entire forest. And that's what I did here, and I, I mean, this looks pretty cool. This looks a lot here. Uh, I mean, I probably should have made this into a video, but I mean, uh, all the things I did, like I, 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 uh, I just, this whole like, like higher end re residential area, where it's in, in, in like the woods and it's like all, away from town. Uh, yeah, I, I changed, I didn't really change the layout that, the street layout that much from the last episode, so. I just changed, I just detailed them a little bit more. Uh, yeah. So, uh, oh yeah, here's the, the, the rest of the industrial area. I got, I recently got the, uh, well, I recently got the Industries DLC. So now it adds a whole ton of stuff. Now, frankly, the majority of the buildings that come with the Industries DLC mod, or not mod, or just the Industries DLC, they are way too big for, for this area. So I think instead of having this be more of an industrial town, have it be more of just like a shipping, a railroad shipping town. Uh, one of the buildings that actually could fit here was, is this like, m the small warehouse. Uh, yeah. I also put a recycler here. Um, and this is, and just working on this off camera, oh yeah, also I, uh, I made the junction a little bit more detailed, and I built this bridge over the tracks for 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 the highway here. Um, also, also with the in industrial areas, I found I, f I recently like down uh, like downloaded these street assets. This like industrial street, it, it looks really cool, like as an industrial area, because here. If I get down, no, I'm personal with it. It's, it's, it's like it's a cement road, but it has like these barriers on the outside. It's, it's, and it is a one lane or not not one lane. It's a two way road. Yeah, this is the just the regular two way road with, uh, and it has no parking on it, which is is kind of nice. I mean, and that's understandable because the, these streets would be used in like an industrial area, so it would be like, you know, there'd be lots of big trucks coming through, so really there would be no, no space for parking. And then here is the four-lane version, which also has, has no parking, and I mean, that looks pretty cool. Part of the, the detailing, and actually this rail yard, this kind of small yard-ish area, this wasn't actually there in the, this wasn't actually built in the last episode, I built it. now. Because these are all dead end tracks with nothing at the end, trains can't actually use them. So I just decided just to plop down a few props, uh, like r r railroad car props, to make it look like that it's, it's busy and such. You know, I mean, and and it's pretty cool. I just put some industrial buildings that seem like they would fit with the railroad, like tanks and you know, like a little office. I mean, this says it's a factory, but I'm treating it as those like are a small railroad office rail yard office so far i think only one train has used this hmm this is a problem you see i want it to be i want a, just it 
for it to be one track through here, but uh, it's when the things like this happen, which this has only happened started re recently, which uh, here I'll just stop time, which I mean this is a really busy area, so I mean yeah, so it's 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 gonna have some uh, I don't know just some jams with trains. And I really don't want to upgrade that to two tracks just because it's a really sharp turn and it just seems more of like a just a one track type thing. Also, not too many people have ha not too many trains have used the uh, the station over here. I mean, as you can see, there are parked cars in in it, so it, it is uh, yeah, it is like that. Oh, and by the way, I actually found out that this station works very well if you. Build, if you build it in front of one of these like smaller roads, but then upgrade it to these medium roads Because then it, it kind of pushes these it kind of put because it, there's like these two weird little driveways that don't go all the way out But if you do this then it makes it look like that. It's actually like connected to the road and such and It just it just looks a little, a little bit nicer. Have they cleared themselves yet? Okay, I'll I'll just delete one of, one of these trains uh, here. Uh, so, I guess this episode, with all the, uh, ex I guess, with all the stuff that I have camera out of the way, this episode, we're just going to be building this town. Now, it's going to be pretty easy, because I planned it to just be mainly, like, residential, you know, and then, and then over, like, in this corner, uh, have it be more of, like, a down like a downtown area or something and then I plan to have some and then over here where this road just kind of ends I plan for this to be a um, like more of a high high density res residential area and maybe even slight tourist section because uh, I have this beach which I've actually I guess smoothed out a little bit more with the rest of the water so it, 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 it looks like that it could actually be used as a beach. Which, you know, I mean, with this being an, an uh, mainly just shipping industrial town, I mean, you know, every town's going to have just a, just that one thing which makes it nice and such, you know, or makes it, uh, I guess, special. Which, I mean, the special part is that it has this really busy, like, little look, there's like three trains going through at once. Uh, this really busy uh, shipping train sh shipping yard area. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm I'm gonna be getting to that. But yeah, so that's just kind of the plan for the episode. We'll just do some more a little bit more de detailing and such. And uh, so uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy.
So, uh, well, uh, I guess the majority of the town's finished, kind of, I mean, this building still, some buildings need, still need to be built in some areas. So, uh, yeah, so, I have a couple of areas inside the town that have, that are, like, for commercial and, you know, all, all that other stuff, uh, and they're mainly along this road and then in this corner. Uh, I also have a school. I also have a high school right here. For, uh, yeah. Uh, and then the rest is just regular, usual, like, residential. And here's, here's, here's the town hall. Uh, I have, a uh, let's see. I have the police station here and a fire, and a fire station right there. Um, yeah, building, some, some buildings still need, need to be built in some areas, but that'll go, that'll increase as, uh, the demand for residential increases and then i have here along uh along this road there's just uh some more it's some more like lo lower uh smaller commercial area uh now i i mainly use this one so that it, it kind of acts as like a barrier for uh the because citizens don't like to live next to it uh to loud areas like the train station for example so i just use this as just kind of a barrier and besides if an, if any visitors com come to the train station you know you might you know there's you'd you'd, you'd rather you'd want to have shopping around rather than, than than housing 
And then, yeah, so, uh, and then over here, uh, this is, this area is, like, uh, this is just, like, more of the higher, like, just the more de densely, uh, a more dense, I guess, housing area, yeah, slash, I guess, kind of tur tourism area, but, like, this is where, like, this, like, maybe, like, one of these buildings is, like, a hotel, maybe this one is, uh, now, I know that these kinds of, uh, these really, like, big, uh, high density residential buildings are more popular in Europe and my city's supposed to mainly be like uh, an American city but uh, you know it's it's fine I mean it's 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 kind of cool looking and then I mean it's kind of that's kind of cool looking just because from a distance because you see the town but then you see these really big these really tall buildings that are just at, at the edge of the water uh, now it may be weird having this this really wide highway just you know be here even though no one's really going to use it uh, well I mean it's originally I did have a smaller road go through here but it just it was just kind of awkward with this being a medium sized road and then this being like a smaller this being a small road so it just kind of looked a bit awkward but I mean it, it, it looks pretty good so, uh, yeah, so I guess this is the finished, uh, so I guess this is the finished, uh, Olive Park. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe, and, uh, in, and I guess enjoy when the next video comes out. Bye!